sometimes I wonder, how does my brain work? Or does it even work at all? Sometimes I really wonder if it's just, it shuts off at times, because I, I feel like an idiot most of the time. <laughs> There was, of course, one password that I forgot about, even though I was telling myself all the time that, remember, there are four passwords, not three. But did I remember it? Of course not! So, of course, I'm gonna show you now. It's another one of those passwords that doesn't really do much, but you will get a, well, I guess a kind of little fun reaction from it, so I sh should probably show it off. H. You. I think you can already guess what the password I is. G. And. Of course. Oh, yes. You could try the password Hugo. Let's see what we get. Password Hugo entered. Verifying. Yahoo! Password invalid. Ah. <laughs> I guess Stan thought he got the password right? I don't really know. <laughs> you only get a little Yahoo from it, but, well, it's it's something at least. Hey, yeah, yeah. Anyway, on to the video. Patience log, star date. I, I don't even know. I, I never watched Star Trek. I don't even know why I thought I should do this. <laughs> One day at the hospital done. One remaining. Everything was fine up till now. <laughs> Hey there everyone, I'm Falkenvanoid, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny. Last time we went through the second part of Helios, and I don't think we got burned by any, by any flamethrowers, which is... Well, it's good. <laughs> Burning is not good at all, no, no. And today we are gonna finish this place off. We saw a familiar face, hopefully we don't have to fight him, her. Well, if you know the last ep if, if you watched the last episode, you know it was a him or a her, so <laughs> don't really know why I thought I should be any mysterious, ooh. Anyway, before going through this door though, as you see, I put Rudy in my party. That is because I want to steal something from... God damn it, I'm not helping my cause here, am I? <laughs> oh man, oh man, let's just go. There's the treasure chest there too, can we sneak and get it? No, we can't. You made it this far. Hmm? Come on, Stan, you already saw her. Eileen? What are you doing here? I really don't want to fight you, Stan. Then don't! You have a choice. Hmm. I belong to Oberon Corporation. I can't disobey Hugo. Or will you join me and help Hugo? <laughs> no? You must be mad. Simply mad, haha. -ha. Wow, let's say very personal joke. <laughs> I'm never gonna help someone who's trying to destroy our world. He's not trying to destroy the world, he's trying to create a new one. Oh, here we go. She's talking nonsense. Don't listen to her. It's the same thing. You don't care about what happens to people who live there already. What you're doing is no different from what Leiden tried to do. Don't you know what's happening on the surface? Who needs a new world? What's wrong with ours? Oh god, it's gonna be the dawn of the new world. They're gonna change almost the entire voice cast, and people will hate it, even though it really isn't that bad. Oh wait, that's later down the line. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Please, continue. That's unfortunate. I thought you would understand. I have, I have nothing against you, but if you're on Hugo's side, we won't have a choice. Alright, I now know that I can't let you pass through here. I'm waiting. Attack me! Yeah... I am not really a huge fan of hitting women, but this is self-defense, so it's okay. <laughs> anyway, Eileen here is actually very, very easy. You want to try to steal from her. The problem is, it's pretty hard to actually steal. Let's see, no. <laughs> Thankfully, Eileen won't be able to do much of- Whoa, that was surprisingly easy. Now, as you pretty much already seen, Eileen got help in the form of, uh, well, machinery, lasers, and 
that thing. Yeah, just pretty much just run up to her and she won't be able to hit you. She will most of the time just focus on your, well, back row characters. And if you just wail on her, she will get some of the attacks off, like the laser there and all. But it will probably not hit you if you're just up in her face like I am. Oh, and those bombs, yeah, I forgot about those. They're a little bit annoying. But, really? Just hit her! You see, that's it! She's pathetic! I'm sorry! And we get the Mind Ring, which is the thing that we stole from her. She can actually uh, drop a magical robe. Rogue? Or, you know, lipstick. But that is incredibly rare. I have gotten it, like, twice, I think. But then again, it's really not the incredibly good item anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I failed. I lost. Pretty badly, too. I'm sorry, but I don't even know why they actually had to put her here. That boss is just... Point she, she can't attack on her own. She needs machinery to do it. And... I mean, she hit me more than Big Nose did, but not nearly as hard. And yes, I get it, it should, it's supposed to be symbolic and all, but... Why did we even have to fight her? I don't get it. Eileen. Please, stay away, Stan. Why? Why do you side with Hugo? Are you satisfied with the world as it is now? Well, thanks to you guys, it's full of holes, so... No? What do you mean by that? What do you think of your world when you traveled around it? Didn't anything bother you? Not before, you guys started, no. As I said, now it's full of holes! If nothing did, I have nothing more to say to you. That's an interesting thought. I know how senseless a war can be. So I rule my country so that we will never be involved in a war. Yeah, that's... You've done a banged up job up now. Actually, Gar's been doing good, it's his father that kind of failed. No, yeah, sorry, don't speak ill of the dead. Sorry, sorry. Are you that unhappy with our world? <sighs> Countries, kingdoms, they're not important at all. The most important thing is what's inside people's hearts. You should have experienced things like suspicion, hatred, discrimination, and calculated kindness during your travels. Uh, I guess. I had enough of this world. There's no choice except for us to start all over again. But that doesn't give anyone the right to destroy the world. If the world has problems, we just have to fix them. You think you can do that by yourselves? I'm not saying we can fix them by ourselves alone. Everyone in the world must work together. <sighs> That's too I I idealistic. It's impossible. Eileen, you're obviously concerned about the state of the world. If, ed if everyone cares as much as you do, we can change the world. Impossible. Why are you so negative? We'll never know until we try. <sighs> Don't you think so? Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps you're right. Then... But Stan, you're so naive. You're so pure and optimistic. Yes. If the people on the surface is, are as pure as you are, there's still hope for the world. But that's far from reality. Do you still believe the world can change for the better? I believe in people. I believe that everybody wants to make this world a better place. Don't you agree, Eileen? Stan? You must disable the mirror shield in order to reach Hugo. Eileen? The most advanced technologies from the ancient world are kept here. You may be... You may even be able to repair your Sordians with it. Can Ignatos be revived? Perhaps. Why are you telling us this? I don't know. But I know now that you'll be able to create a new world in a different way than Hugo. 
I just know it. I lead? I didn't want to see you here like this. Goodbye, Stan. What the? Eileen! Elise! Oh, you, shut up. No one cares about you. Are you crazy? Are you trying to kill yourself? Stan, come down. Let go of me. Eileen. <laughs> calm down, you idiot. Why are you gonna just let him jump? I mean... I mean, he, uh, he has actually survived very big falls before. Just aim for the lake, it's gonna be fine. And then it's gonna be found by a old guy and his apprentice and the game will start all, all over again. And no, oh, no, 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 don't do that. I don't want to go through Josiah again. Oh wait, I, oh, my twitching's gone. <laughs> cool, Josiah, Josiah, Josiah! Damn it. Shut up. How can someone like you Who's no longer human understand this? What did you say? Stop it, you two. Back off, Dimlos. He's not listening to a word you're saying. That right, I know, but. Wow, Stan really lost it there. Stan, you went too far. What's your point? I understand your feelings, but you shouldn't have said everything that's on your mind. Stan. The thing you said about us wasn't fair. We still have emotions, we still feel things. Besides, we didn't choose to be in this form. Yeah, I I'm sorry, Dimlos. I'll let it pass as long as you understand. Stan, why don't you rest for a while? We'll try to re develop some kind of device to disable the mirror shield. But how do you propose to develop something like that? Atwight? Can't you help us? No, I can't. High energy physics is Ignato's field of ex expertise. Then what should we do? Well, we need to revive Ignatos first, right? Yes, you're right, but Clement, is it possible? With facilities like these, I believe we can do the repair work. Really? Well, I'm counting on you, Clement. Actually, I'm really an expert in the field of bioengineering. I wonder if a Saurian is a living entity. Well, I guess we'll just have to do it somehow. Philia, will you help me? Yes. Let's go back further in the facility. Okay. I'll stay here. Stan ain't looking so hot. Chelsea, you stay here too. Fooey, why? I'm worried about Stan. I don't want him to do anything unwise. You have an important mission. <sighs> I understand. You can count on me. Stan, don't move a muscle. Stay here and don't go anywhere. Yes, because the bard and the... Uh, nine-year-old or something? I can't remember how old Jels is. I'm gonna totally be able to stop him if he tries to jump again. Yeah. Chelsea, just shoot him in the butt with an arrow. He should, he'll be fine. <laughs> hmm, is this a facility that I was talking about? Hmm. Can you get me near the machine? Yes. Okay. Place Inutos in the middle of this machine. Are you sure? Trust me. Philia, please go in front of the control board over there. Oh, yes, okay. We're all set here. Shall we start? Okay. Philia, activate the lever on the front. Yes, there's a lot of yeses. Uh. This should have done the trick. Well, where am I? So. A little bit of lightning was all it took. You know, Clement, you have the lightning and thunderblade spells. You could probably have done it yourself. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, and just to get this out of the way right now, it was laying on the table, he got revived by lightning. Okay. It's alive! It's alive! Let's just hope he doesn't go on a rampage. I would hate to get some torches just to stop in those. That would really, really suck. It does us regain consciousness. Cool. How are you feeling? 
Ah, Clement, old man. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. I'm glad I'm glad you're back with us. Gar, I'm so sorry. I allowed your father, King Sark, to be killed because I was weak. Well, we can't really blame you. That was inevitable. There was nothing you could have done. Yes, but it's incredible that a facility like this exists. It means that the Ethereans were close to developing Saurians of their own. Oh, that's actually a scary thought. Yeah, you're right. Now, I need you to do something. Yes? What do you want me to do? We're going to infiltrate Diecroft soon. But the mirror shield is preventing us from going there. The mirror shield? Yeah, that would be a problem. Can you create some kind of device that will enable us to disable or, well, neutralize the shield? It's something out of my league, so I'm unable to do it. Ah, certainly. I'll do my best. I'm liking those already. Please, let us know if there's something we can do to help. Yes, that would be great. And... I really don't want to help, apparently. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We are gonna have another pretty nice scene here. Okay, now. What do you want? Oh, nothing. Those two are working and I don't have anything to do. Leave me alone. Oh, come on. Is Stan really going through the Squall phase now? That's really not good. Alright, so that's pretty good too. Squall actually turned into a pretty cool guy after a while. I can't really blame him though. And Johnny, is that treasure chest very that interesting? He's just staring at it. Oh, come on, get a grip! We really need you if we're going up against Hugo. Well, yeah, you are the highest level characters. Of course we need you. We're depending on you. What? You don't believe me? Have I ever lied to you? <laughs> um, <coughs> uh, no, no. <laughs> yes, you have. Uh, right. <laughs> Some things are better left unsaid. <laughs> very, very right there, Dumlos. <laughs> I many... I should have a counter on many times to actually lie to Stan, but... It's definitely in the double digits, yeah. You're not helping at all. Nope. Well, forget what I just said. Will you just cheer up? What do you think about our world? What? Are you still thinking about what Eileen said? Well, I don't like it, but I don't hate it either. What do you mean by that? There are some bad people in the world, but there are some good people too. I mean, for crying out loud, you're trying to save the world, aren't you? So, I don't think our world is something you simply throw away. That's not what I meant. Huh? I'm not fighting to save the world or anything like that. Then why are you fighting along with all of us? I can't explain it well, but I'm fighting to protect the people who are important to me. See, I'm a country boy, so stuff like the world doesn't really concern me. Well, the country is a part of the world too, so yeah. I wonder if that's wrong. I don't think so. I think I'm in the same boat as you are. I feel a bit better since you told me that. Now, that's more like you, Stan Eilrod. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fun to be around you. Aww. I love those moments. <laughs> Stan, the mirror shield autom automation device is ready. Does it mean we can disable the mirror shield with this? We just have to somehow destroy the Guardian Raconis. Yes, let's go! Well, that was easy enough. And of course, finally we're gonna get this treasure chest that's been uh, haunting us since we first got here. And we get some wing boots. Which is actually helpful for once, because we have to go all the way outside of the dungeon again. But before using them, let's check the mind ring that we stole from Eileen. Restore TP during battle for a certain period of time. Yeah, it's like the holy symbol, just for TP. But, let's use Wing Boots and let's get out of here. Of course, if you want experience, you could walk, but eh, I don't really care. <laughs> and also, I want to have a little moment of silence for Glitchy, because he is now not with us anymore. 
thank you, Glitchy. If it wasn't for you, Ignatos would start at level 7. Well, thanks to you, he's now level 31. Which means Gar is a lot more helpful now than he... Well, he, he would have been if we didn't use the glitch. And actually now, Gar can actually also equip a disc. Which is great. Let's see. Can just gonna give him the 180, 180 for now, I think. Maybe I should have given him stance disc, but I don't really care. But, with all those long scenes out of the way, I think we're gonna end this off. So, next time, we are gonna go and hopefully find a way to disable the Garden Draconis. Or we already know where to go, but I can't remember the name right now. <laughs> oh wait, Claudius. Yes, Claudius. We're going to Claudius. That's not a spoiler, is it? No, it's not. They already said a name. Cless already. I mean, Cress already spoiled it too, so... No big deal. <laughs> So, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all then.